Jen was like, um, like a, in a drunk state. It was like he was drunk now. Um, it was, it was, it was surreal. This was, and I thought, still, it's dehydrated. I didn't have any worries. All that I didn't want to do was go in the ambulance with him because that would have frightened me. In the early stages, sepsis can simply look like a bad case of flu. Patients feel very tired, their muscles might ache, they might take themselves to bed. As sepsis develops, there will be signs appearing and patients will find symptoms that um, differentiate sepsis from flu. So one of the uh, first things they might notice is they, they might be, become very short of breath, for example. That would be unusual in flu. They might notice that their heart is racing or they might uh, develop palpitations. They might notice that their hands and feet become extremely cold uh, or have a strange colour or a strange rash or the skin might look mottled or marbled in appearance. They might notice that their speech is beginning to become slurred. Often relatives report that they initially thought that their loved one was drunk. If a loved one seems confused then it's possible they might have sepsis and if we suddenly find that with flu-like symptoms we're not thinking as clearly as we previously were, then again that might be a sign of sepsis. If you or a loved one, having initially thought they had flu-like symptoms, develop any of these new symptoms, then it's essential that you present to healthcare as quickly as possible, either by calling an ambulance or by getting straight to the emergency department. If you have sepsis, then it's absolutely critical that we get the right treatment into you as quickly as possible. The right antibiotic is critical. For every hour we delay in giving the right antibiotic, the risk of death is going up. An easy way to remember some of the symptoms that might fit with sepsis in patients having flu-like illness is to use the word sepsis. S for severe shortness of breath can be a common feature. E for extremities, hands and feet can be extremely cold. P for palpitations or a racing heartbeat. S for slurred speech. I for I've never felt so bad. And S for shivering uncontrollably. We call this rigors and it can be associated either with very high temperature or very low temperature. Sepsis can affect anyone. We know that it's more common in the very elderly. Those over 65 are around 10 times more likely to develop sepsis. We also know that it's um, a problem in the very young. Uh, it's a common problem in neonates and in babies and in, and in very tiny children. But people of any age can get sepsis and Gem's story highlights this. We hear every day almost of people in the prime of their life who are struck down by this terrible disease.